and morning looks like. My alarm goes up at, off at 4 a.m. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I actually posted a Q&A on my Instagram and asked if anybody had any questions for me. And one of the most reoccurring questions was about how I get up early. Really, the goal of this video is just to share what I've learned and some tips and stuff like that. And so hopefully it will help you with your goals. But yeah, this is just what's like for me. But I hope it helps you. Anyways, let's get into the video. So my first tip is to make sure that you are aware of what you're currently doing and you are aware of what your goal is for your routine. I used to, and this is before I had kids, right? So before I had kids, I worked a lot. I worked all the time. I didn't exercise. I didn't eat well at all, like really badly. Like I used to have takeout probably majority of my meals. I was either not eating or eating takeout, barely drank water, like so rare for me to drink water. I had to, that was a learned skill for me. So my sleep pattern used to be really, really weird. So I would go to sleep at like early in the morning. So somewhere between like 1am and like 3am. And then I would sleep until like 10am, depending on what I was doing that day. But usually my day wouldn't even start until like 9 or 10am. And this is like after high school, obviously. Now I wake up at 4 a.m. almost every morning. Sometimes I sleep in and my sleep in is until 5. And I am good. Like I'm not tired throughout the day. Um, it's pretty normal for me now. Yeah, I function quite well on that. I get enough sleep every night. Um, and it works really well for me. And I get to have a little bit of me time and some time to focus on myself before I start to do the chaos of the day with all the kids and work and everything that I have to do. The next tip that I have is to start slow. Anybody that I talk to in person asking me about how to wake up earlier, I generally say to start slow because people do, they want to jump in, right? They're excited. They get up at, you know, maybe 8 a.m. and they're like, no, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. now. And you're giving your body like this massive shock. As good as that might work for a little bit, it's not sustainable for you yet. I started waking up earlier literally by adding 15 or waking up 15 to 20 minutes earlier every day until that was comfortable for me. I was getting up around seven for a while and I was just setting my alarm for I think 6.45 for a bit and until 6.45 became like when my body would naturally start to wake up then I cut it back again and I feel like this is the the most sustainable way to do it because you're retraining how your body gets rest and you have to give yourself time to adjust as well that's essentially what I did and I slowly started waking up earlier and earlier and earlier and when I got to when I was waking up at 5 a.m I went to 4:30, and then I went to 4 20 and then I went to 4 10 and then I went to 4 a.m I wanted to get up early just because I would have time for myself I would get my workout done for the day because I hate thinking about exercising all day it is something that sits in my head it's like this little mental load that I constantly have and I hated having that feeling like I need to do this I need to do this I need to do this doing one of the hardest things I will do that day first thing in the morning gives me a lot more confidence so that's why I do that another tip that I have is to really really focus on improving your sleep you can get up early and still feel really tired even though you've had a long stretch of sleep but without making sure that is quality sleep, it's not really going to get you that far. If you can work on things like not using your phone before bed, eating like a good amount of food throughout the day, not eating too close to bed, like watching your sugar intake, especially and sugar and caffeine intake, like closer to bedtime, you know, like minimizing electronics. Like we turn off all the switches in our rooms because we have like a TV in our room. We used to not, but we decided to get one more recently. We switched them all off we make it really dark in our room we can make it colder we will yeah we just try to try to make it as comfortable for us as we can so we get a good quality sleep i think i realized the how important quality of sleep is until i was taken away from me when i had so many kids my next tip is to maintain your wake up time so let's say that you're waking up at 4 a.m all week don't get to the weekend and be like i'm gonna sleep in until 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 um, because it's gonna mess up your sleep cycle you don't want to just throw all of that work into the bin and mess up your sleep especially if you're doing it regularly it will become normal for you to wake up at that time so it won't feel as difficult so definitely focus on maintaining your wake up time 
And my last tip for today is probably, it's one of the most important ones for me, but it is to set yourself up for success the night before. I cannot even explain how important this one is for me, especially. My earphones are charged, my gym bag is packed, my outfit that I'm going to be wearing to the gym is always in the bathroom. As soon as I get up, I go straight to the bathroom and get myself ready for the day. I always have like a shaker in the fridge with water in it. And whenever I want to have like my pre-workout, it's like easy for me to put together and I can just grab it and go. I always check what workout I'm going to be doing as well. So I know exactly what I'm going to be doing as soon as I wake up. My morning looks like my alarm goes up at, off at 4 a.m. I go straight to the bathroom. I get myself ready for the day. So I like, I generally put on a little bit of makeup, give myself a quick rinse, get into my gym clothes, put my shoes on. My gym bag is right outside my bathroom door. So I just grab it off the shelf. I grab my keys. I go straight to my kitchen. I get my pre-workout, shake that up, drink it. And then I go jump in the car and it's super, it's very seamless for me now, but it is only because I have put in the work the night before. <laughs> it doesn't take that long and it helps you feel much, much more organized. But yeah, that's pretty much all of my tips for waking up earlier. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below or DM me, but I hope this helps a little bit. I know how hard it was for me to start waking up earlier, but I absolutely love it now. But I will see you next week in my next video.